Hello sir. Hello Khateja. Hello students. Students, today we are going to do an experiment on rusting. It takes a little time, but Khatija, you know what rusting is? Uh, yeah, sir. It is the oxides form on the iron or any metal uh, with the help of oxygen and moisture. That is right. So, two very important conditions are required. You must have moisture as well as you must have air also. If you do not have air and if you do not have moisture or if one of them is missing, then we will not get rusting. That is the reason why you see that many iron structures, maybe gates, railings, bridges, etc., are periodically painted. Why are they painted? Because we don't want rust to weaken the structure. So what is rust? Rust is simply an oxide formation of iron. Fe2O3, iron forms various oxides. One is FeO called ferrous oxide, Fe2O3 diferous trioxide and Fe3O4 ferrous or ferric oxide like that. There are many oxides but the red colored rust that we see is Fe2O3 and it is very important because much of the iron that is extracted from the ores is from an ore called hematite. Yes. Hematite is Fe2O3. So, let us explain to the students what has happened over here, what we have done. First, we have taken four test tubes and in one test tube, this one, we have taken oil, just plain oil. Yeah. And in this test tube, we have introduced a nail, yes. shining nail, which after a week still remains shining. Yeah. It's clear because to everyone. it doesn't form any oxides. It, it does not form oxides because oil prevents the air as well as water from entering. So we have just closed it lightly with the help of a cotton yes. wool over here. So this is oil. You can see that it is still shining. Now, the next one yes. we will do it. Do we have any chemical which prevents oxides? You can see this, I am just picking that yeah. uh, particular test tube. In this test tube, we have got an iron nail. Again, you can see that it is shining nicely. Yeah. And what you can see is, I have got a little bit of some white colored chemical yeah. over here. Calcium chloride. That's right. And why calcium chloride? It will absorb the moisture. Very good. You pass. Thank you. All right. So this is calcium chloride and calcium chloride has the tendency of absorbing moisture from the air. So even though there is a lot of air over here, moisture is absent. Therefore, rusting hasn't taken Sir, place. Sir, can we use uh, calcium chloride any, uh, at any other place to Gen absorb moisture? Generally, calcium chloride is used in the laboratories to in desiccators. Desiccators are apparatus in which you have calcium chloride at the bottom. There is a light cover on the top and you put any heated substance over there. Yes. All the moisture that is present will be pulled down and your substances will be dry. And finally, over here, we have got a test tube, yes, which is filled up with water only. And this is not Even just plain water, this is boiled water. And we are not allowing it to mix up easily with air. So, again you see that there is no rusting no away. Rusting. Though it is in water, it is not, not rusted. Because so, it is a boiled one. That's exactly right. And now, let us take this test tube. As you rust. can see, there is rust on the top. Yes. This is just plain water allowed to react with the atmosphere, open to the atmosphere. So, the oxides of iron are forming, that is rust is forming yes. over here. So, this experiment, students, takes a little time. About a week is necessary. So, if you want to do this, you will have to do this and observe the results one week later. Immediately, you will not get the results. So, I hope you have understood what rusting is. Yes. And of course, Khatija, you know what rusting is, so I'm not going to but ask I still you. want to learn from That you. is very good. We all are students till the last days of our life. 
So I hope students you have enjoyed this and you can repeat this experiment at home quite easily. Thank, thank you, you. Sir. Thank you very much thank and thank you, you to viewers. viewers.